Hello everybody and welcome to this review of Commander Store and Cross-Eyed Leela. In this review we'll be looking at what's underneath the helmet, we'll be having a model shoot with Tom Baker and we'll be looking at why Leela looks like a complete dope. So let's start off by saying I've just been watching Torchwood, been watching the first two episodes of series two. If you're a big Torchwood fan you'll know that they are Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and The Sleeper. And the sleeper is just a really graphic story with blood and gore and everything like that. So, um, so let's start the review. So, what do you notice about the face? Well, he's got these wonderful black eyes, which I think is awesome. And I think they were in the original story, uh, Invasion of Time, obviously. That's the first thing I loved about this figure. I opened it and I was like, wow, look at those eyes. They're brilliant. He has this sad expression, which I think is a very annoying feature of the figure. Um, I think, you know, he should be, you know, just solemn and not just looking really sad like, he, you know, someone's stolen his ice cream or something. Uh, he's got this sad face, which, which, which in the promo pictures, uh, that's what turned me off this figure. The fact that he is looking tremendously sad. Um, so that's that's an annoying feature of the figure, but it still makes it beautiful. I mean, the colour of the skin is beautiful. Um, and he's just got this really sad, solemn face. Um... The helmet is much better, much better, because the Time Warrior Lynx figure has this really irritating helmet which breaks um, every time you try and take it off. It breaks a little bit every time you take it off. So with this one, however, it's much more, you know, it's, it's a nice, firm, just slip-on, a slip-on um, hat, a helmet, helmet, not a hat. Um, and... One thing I loved about the Invasion of Time Sontarans was they had this lovely design on their helmet, which I think is um, is very nice. Um, so yeah, that's the the helmet and his head. Right. So then we move on to his um, to his uh, armor. His armor is basically the uh, Time Warrior Lynx figure with some bonus features. I mean, I think the hands are probably the same. Um, he's got his grenade here and his communication device. He's got new boots. Um, new boots, yes. He went down to Primark and got himself some new boots. The Galactic Primark. Um, and of course his gun is, is different as well, um, slightly. And so basically, you look at that. Isn't that brilliant? They're just coming up to the figure there and looking at this. Um, as I said, you know, Store is my favourite on Tyrant. Um, so yeah, let's have, a, let's have a look at his gun. His, uh, oopsie whoopsie woo, can you just move up there? Yeah, he's saying hi, hi Hitler. Right, um, the gun is, is, is basically the same, but it's got a little bit of silver on it instead of red, I think, or green, whatever it was before. Um, so that's nice, that's a nice feature of the set. I mean, I would have been very annoyed if he didn't come with a gun. I don't think he ever used a gun in the store. He did, he did, yes he did. He uh, shot Tom Baker with it, yes. Um, in that wonderful line, um, I call no one, sir, set my battalion leader. <laughs> so yeah, that's um, that's the Sontaran, best part of the set. Oh shit, where's his gun? There it is. Right, now we come on to cross-eyed Leela, and you'll see as soon as I show you her that she is cross-eyed. Woo, look. She, well, she may not be cross-eyed, but she's got certainly very weird eyes, I think. You know, look, her eyes are very... Isn't, it look, look, doesn't look so bad on camera, but... When we opened her, the first thing we noticed was that Leela has these weird eyes. You know, there we go, there's a good angle of it. You know, she's got these weird sort of zombie-like, you know, eyes, which are really weird. And when you look at it in person, you think, well, I don't really like that figure because she has got these weird eyes. Um, her hair, I think, is a bit faded, I would say. Uh, you probably can't see it, but I, I think her hair's a bit faded there. I mean, I have to say, I, I, I haven't really looked at these sets in detail properly myself because... Um, I had to go out today. I had lunch with a friend. Absolutely delicious lunch. Um, and so I, I, I literally got the figures and I just was like, wow, got to go. And so I left and I didn't really have a chance to look at them. So I haven't really looked at them myself. So this is the first time, really, I'm getting a chance to look at them. One thing I like about this figure, oh my God, she can stand up. Wow, I love it. You know, she hasn't collapsed yet, 
but I bet she will. Her leg is becoming a little weaker now. Um, as you know, with my, uh, with Toby's rather, his face of evil figure, her leg has come off, and so is most of the figure. The good thing about this one is that she doesn't have many accessories on her dress, you know. Um, she's only got this belt, uh, this, um, what you make, much of a jig there, to hold her knife, and she hasn't got all these things, uh, coming off her, which is really good, because then, you know, it's less things to fall off, you know. So, um, yeah, so I don't think we should look too far down her dress, but, uh, there's Leela, she's standing on a coaster. Um, and she's got a knife, which is good. Um, can't really see it's a knife, but it is. It's a knife. Woo. Yeah, she's got a knife, which is nice. I mean, it would be nice if we had some more Janus thorns. I mean, she didn't use them in the story, but I've lost the Janus thorns, so it would be nice if we had some more. Now, I've met Louise Jameson, and she doesn't really look like that. But she looks fairly nice. I've just noticed a big, big scar on her left eye, look. Um, she does kind of look like Louise, but, you know, you'd have to get it at the right angle. Her nose, of course, is extremely small, which is wrong, I don't think. Now that, you know, you can say, well, that's, that's Leela. But you have to get it at the right angle. I mean, if, you know, if someone was to do a figure adventure, they'd have to get it at the right angle to make her look like Leela. I don't really want to talk about Leela for very long, because I don't think there's much more to say about her. So there's Leela. Then you have the T-Mat gun, or whatever it's called. I think it's called the T-Mat gun. People have called it the D-Mat gun, but I think, I swear it's called the the the, the, uh, the T-Mat gun. Maybe that was T-Mat, the, oh shit. T-Mat, the, um, yeah, anyway, here's, here's Tom Baker modelling the T-Mat gun. I'm going to call it the T-Mat gun because I think it's called the T-Mat gun. As a gun of mass destruction in a way, sort of like the, the weapons we have on Earth, but with more power. This is an excellent gun. I, thought, I think it was the best gun of the entire... Uh, well, possibly not. Um, Robot, you know, the episode Robot with Tom Baker, first story he was in. Um, you know, there was that mass disintegration gun, which I thought was absolutely awesome. That's probably my favourite gun. But this one is excellent because, you know, you just shoot someone and they disappear. So which is a really, it's like the best weapon ever. Um, because, I mean, the Daleks had a weapon similar to this in Day of the Daleks. But, you know, uh, it, this weapon just completely disintegrates someone. So they just disappear, uh, which is really the best way for everything, you know. Um, here's Tom Baker. He's modelling the gun. Um... I think this this variant of Tom is really good for this gun. I mean, I think it, it works, you know. Um, I just picked him off as, as one of the... I don't particularly like this variant of Tom. I I, th I think he was good. When I, when, I, when I saw him in the primary images, I thought, yes, he is very good. But you get bored of him very quickly, I think. Yes. Um, I would love to possess a Keeper of Tarkin, Tom. If someone was selling that, I would buy it, possibly. I may do, you know. I'll buy it one day. Um... So yes, there's uh, Tom Baker modelling the gun. The gun looks a bit weird in a way here, particularly. Uh, but you know, it's a nice. It's it's a, it's a fucking massive accessory. I mean, I I don't want to swear, but yeah, it's a massive accessory. I I you, you see the reviews. I've seen two reviews of this set. Uh, no, I've seen one. One review. I've seen Matthew Torbella's review of this set, and he 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 wasn't joking when he said that gun's big. It's massive, absolutely massive. You you, you have to have it in your hand to believe it. It's a massive gun. Um, Leela can't hold it. If Leela were, were to hold it, she would fall over. It's a massive gun. Store can't really hold it at all, but it is a nice accessory. Um, I hope you like the background. I was I was in bed today and I thought, oh look, when I do my review of, of, of this store set, I'm going to have that background. It's quite nice. Uh, it's actually a pillow you sit on, so that's nice. Um, so yes, seven minutes and we've talked about that. Oh, ooh, she's fallen over. Tom Baker. Right. Um, so yes... Um, obviously, and I do mean obviously, there will be thousands and thousands and thousands of blogs about these figures, because I love them, and there will be loads of zooming in uh, videos about these figures, possibly, and I, 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 will, I will most likely probably do an adventure with one, yes, probably in the future. Toby's going back to university tomorrow, so I don't know whether he's letting me have the camera or not. He has got a new one now, but I don't want to be like, oh, Toby, give me the camera. No. Let's have a look one final time at Mr. Store. Someone once said about Store that he looks like Phil Mitchell when he's walking down the corridors. He looks like Phil Mitchell. Um, the Invasion of Time is, is, is a very weird episode, I think. I mean, really... You only watch it for the last couple of episodes with the Sontarans, because the first part is really, really boring. And it's quite interesting how Tom Becker goes insane, but, you know, um, the real reason you watch it is because of episode 5, I think it is, when the Sontarans come in. 
And I always loved Storr because he just had the most menacing voice. He he, he has that wonderful colour of his face. And, you know, there's so many things you can love about Storr. He, he just really angry as well, you know. This machine is a load of absolute rubbish. And, you know, he has the best lines, of course. You know, I will deal with him personally. And he has this tongue. His tongue is, is one of the best features about this costume. You know, his tongue his tongue sticks out a lot and he's sort of like, um I have other arrangements. So yeah, I would definitely work with Store um in, 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 in figure adventures and stuff. Um So yeah, I mean that's that's really nice. Here we go with our leader and store set. My next review will be of the third Doctor's box set. Um, not third Doctor's box set, it's called The Enemies of the Third Doctor. Which is coming from America, so it probably won't be here for blimmin' ages. But I have to say, well done to this um, person who sold this to me. He was an eBay person, and he wraps it so nicely. Um, he wrapped the box in pink wrapping paper, um, which is sort of like tissue paper. He wrapped it up in that very neatly as well, and it was sort of like a package. And, you know, he, he, he did that with sellotape, and it was very nice. I mean, it's probably a female, probably. Um... But one thing I did do that hurt me so bad is I cut my finger on the box because I was so excited. I ripped open the box and I was like, ah! And I cut my finger and it's been so painful all day. I can't open, I can't lift up things. It's painful. Um, but other than that, yeah, I really love this. So I'll have a good look at it in a minute because I haven't really looked at it myself. There will be figure Avengers with him in it and I'll put st li links with him. And we are getting a third Sontar in, uh, in a couple of months. We're getting the Steyr one. And I'm sure we'll get the next two Sontarans from the two Doctors. Uh, soon, I don't really really like those ones because they have really thin heads. They're, they're really really sort of weird shaped. So yes, I mean I hope you, you probably think this review is quite crap, but uh, I thought it was not bad. So um, I'm a bit tired today. I mean I haven't had much, I haven't had sleep for two days. Isn't that sad? Yes. Um, Tom Baker doesn't come with the set. If people are wondering, he's just there for being a model. So yes. Leela, she looks better now. I mean, I had a quick look at her earlier. She looks better, but she did look, originally look cross-eyed. She is cross-eyed. Yes, she is. I think she is. Her eyes are weird. I mean, maybe she's not cross-eyed. She's got something wrong with her. So, um, now it's time to have a good look at all the figures. And on a final note, I, I want to talk about fashion. Who has the best fashion out of all the companions? Well, Leela has uh, quite good fashion. I like her dress in this story, The Invasion of Time. Uh, I like her dress. Her dress is, is not the same one as in uh, Face of Evil, but it's a sort of darker colour, which I love. It's a sort of a darker beige colour. Um, so I do like this dress that she wears, but I think the queen of fashion goes to Sarah Jane Smith in the episode Hand of Fear when she's dressed like Andy Pandy. And on a final note, um, there are two new figures that have come out. Um, one highly offensive one and one extremely exciting one. The offensive one is the Perry and Cyberman figure, which has extremely offensive uh, pieces in it. I mean, um, the Cyberman has a removable face, and behind the face is a Cyberman we've never seen before. A sort of face, which I think is wrong. Why the hell? I mean, obviously the nice thing about this figure is Perry. Um, Perry is in pink, which I love Perry in pink. I think Perry in pink was nice. But, you know, just release a Cyberman on its own. I mean, I'm sure the reason they, they, they changed it was because um, 
you know, they've already had that Cyberman out. But they could have done um, what would, a figure that I would quite like, which is um, mutating Cyberman from Telos, which I think would have been nice. They have done the Attack of the Cybermen, Cybermen to the death, really. They did the Stealth one, and they've done the Earth Shocks ones, which are vaguely the same. Um, and the new set, which was leaked on the internet, which is the... Um, which has now become official, which is the uh, Davros and Destroyed Dalek set, which I think will be fascinating. I shan't buy them, of course, because I'm poor, so uh, I'll see you tomorrow.